negative 48 degree temperatures. <laughs> but it's not that much warmer. No, you know, the wind chill, I just checked the wind chill on the top of Mount Washington at the observatory is running at about 67 below, so it could be worse. We are plenty cold around here, though, in southeastern New England. In fact, dipping below zero in a few spots. Now, Charlestown at one below. Got a report from uh, John in Burrowville, four below there. It's zero in Woonsocket. Coventry is hanging on at one degree. North Kingstown at about three this morning and eight in Little Compton. Uh, there's plenty of sunshine. The skies have been clear. The winds on the lighter side overnight. They are going to pick back up through the daytime today, so a blustery day, and that'll keep those wind chill values at zero, even below zero for much of the day. Right now in Providence, we're at five degrees, the wind chill running at about six. Other current temperatures that we have from our city cam this, uh, uh, this morning in Pawtucket, it is nine degrees there, and the temperature uh, with the winds give us a wind chill of Eight below. We've got a wind right now from the west at about 15 miles per hour. Newport running at six degrees there. The wind chill nine below. The humidity is very low. Not expecting any rain or snow through the daytime today. Lots of sunshine, New Bedford, but the wind chill sub zero this morning. This is what you need to dress for if you're heading outside. If you're sending the kids out to the bus stop, just frigid. Radar is quiet again. Storm free through the daytime today and even through the daylight hours of your Friday. And I'll show you that here in the future cast. So we'll start off with today around. 19 degrees, lots of sunshine, gusty winds, but again, bright skies, wind chills zero to about 10 above, and those winds from the northwest at 15 to 20 miles per hour. We're back to the single digits overnight tonight, around five degrees under clear skies, wind chills again below zero, northwest winds at about five to 12 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, the difference tomorrow will be lighter winds, and the temperature should be a little bit warmer, at least making it up into the 20s for most of us. But we're going to see fading sunshine. So we start off bright, lots of sun, and then the sun fades as those uh, clouds roll in out ahead of our next weather system. Future cast through the daytime today, lots of sunshine through five this evening. Should be dry but frigid heading home from work. And then the overnight again tonight, ideal conditions to really see those temperatures bottom out once again in the single digits. Let's show you, show you that seven day future cast. This new seven day able to show you the most detailed information over a seven day period here that you can get in southeastern New England. We'll start off with today 8 o'clock around 5 degrees by lunchtime it's only 15 and by the afternoon high running at about 19 degrees back into the single digits overnight now you notice I have snow in the forecast for late Friday into early Saturday let's detail that for you so it's dry during the daytime Friday fading sunshine snow in the forecast for overnight right now it looks like just a glancing blow so we're talking about small accumulations there's a chance of maybe some slightly higher amounts along the south coast right now and by Saturday Early morning snow showers will give way to clearing skies, so most of your Saturday looks dry. It's another very chilly day on Sunday, starting off around 10 above, the high around 27, and then you can see some milder air starting to return from Monday and Tuesday. In fact, we're definitely heading in the right direction next week as those temperatures continue to trend upwards. How high? Well, I have us up close to 50 by Wednesday afternoon. It does come with extra clouds and a few rain showers, but a big thaw by next week.